oh my gosh, trying to get a thumbnail, holding some of my favorite palettes. I'm like, don't drop them, don't drop them. Hello, my gorgeous ones. Welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia. Here on my channel, I love affordable fashion and beauty. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, all sorts of fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and be a part of the fam. And today, I really wanted to do a ranking video of all the palettes that I used in February. But ranking is so hard for me. So instead I put it in three categories. Like I love these palettes. I really like these palettes. I don't like these palettes. So I'm gonna have three different categories. And if you wanna see what palettes I think are like amazing that I used in February and then a few that you can definitely skip on, keep on watching. All right, you guys. So we're gonna start from the very bottom. I only have two in this category that I'm saying I don't like. Now, these are actually not, well, actually one of them I think is a pretty bad palette, but the other one is not that bad. I just, they're the worst of the ones that I tried in February and I've decided I don't need either one of them and they are from the same brand. So we have these two from Beauty Bakery. I did receive both of these in PR, one in Ipsy, one in Boxy. If you saw my videos on them, you kind of, you already know why they are here for me. It's just, I love a lot of things from Beauty Bakery. Like I love their blushes. I love their powder. I love their Instabake foundation. I just think eyeshadows are just not what they do best. Now, there was a shade in here that I did enjoy, the Mango Pudding, it's that orangish shade. I cannot keep a palette for just one shade. The other one is just do it for the gram. I liked this one better because we do have more colors in here. This is actually not a terrible palette. The shimmers are kind of pretty. It's just, I have so many palettes in my collection and I, I mess with like the amazing brands and formulas. Okay, like it just doesn't stack up to that, so that's why they are my bottom for February and why I'm actually going to be decluttering both of these. Next, we're gonna move on to the palettes that I think are really good. They just didn't quite make my amazing list. So this is one of my favorite from LA Girl. This is the Keep It Playful Playmate. Now, I did a really neat video with this. I did quite a while ago. I just haven't put it up yet, but I'm showing this palette against two other well-known palettes that are more expensive and showing how you can get the same look with it, but um, that will be going up at some point. I really need to do that. But this is a great drugstore palette. LA Girl makes some of the best, I don't know what happened to that shade, makes some of the best eyeshadows in the drugstore game. I mean, look how stunning these shimmers are. I love this palette. Maybe I should have put it in some of my greats. It's just the ones that are in the greats are really great. But if you need an affordable drugstore neutral palette, this is a great option. Next, we have another drugstore, but this is pricier. This is from PYT Beauty. This is the Upcycle Shadow Palette Party in the Nude. So this palette, it's so funny. Every time I use this palette, I'll see it in my collection. I'm like, okay, I need to use that again. And if I don't like, like my look, I'm gonna declutter it. And then I love my look. Like I just, this is such a good little palette. Like. The shimmers are kind of those really sparkly, light kind of topper shimmers, kind of like Kate Beauty, but it makes the most beautiful, like ethereal look. I always get compliments when I wear this, so I just can't get rid of it. And I don't know why I keep trying to, because it's a really good palette. And um, yeah, like it's just kind of pricey though. I think it's 20 something bucks for drugstore, but it's a good palette. Now, this one I got in PR, and I, I debated on putting this, I decided not to put this in the best, the great, because, okay, I love the color story, absolutely love. This is the Octius Luna, by the way. Incredible packaging. The whole collection she did is just so well thought out, so good. The brushes, the lipsticks, the packaging. I love the color story, and I loved my looks with this. This is a formula that I had to build up some, not super pigmented right out the gate, which some people love that. Like some people are scared of too much pigment right away. So this could be people's tops. I just put it here because um, 
I really like it. I just like some other ones better, but this is such a good palette from a little brand that just started, and I do recommend that you guys check her out. All right, next we have IBY Beauty Sunday Brunch Palette. Now, IBY is very underrated. I never see anyone talk about them. Very affordable, I think this is around $20, and I do have an affiliate code with them, by the way, that is down below. I do make a little bit of money off that if you ever decide to buy anything, but like, I really, really like their palettes. It is a solid, solid formula. Like, I love this mustardy yellow in here. Oh, this is like a duochrome Sunday Fun Day. It's um, kind of shifts gold, green, like really fun, really, really good brand, solid. All right, these two I have in here, these are the Patrick, you guys have seen me pull this out so many times because I did declutter these. These are in a declutter. I had to pull them out for a video, hint, hint of what I was talking about earlier, but um, these are going to be sent off eventually to my poor friend Marty. He's been waiting for them forever for me, but um, I put these in the good and I'm decluttering them for like a whole different reason. I just don't use the brand anymore. Um, from an experience that I had with another product and that they never did anything about it for me. So um, I also don't like how they do their PR program either. So I no longer really promote them. And But these palettes are really good. I'm not putting them in my grate because I still think there's a lot better out there. But these are really good. And they are finally probably going to be shipped off to my friend. All right. Next we have the Chocolate Martini by Glam Light. Now... I put this here and I may would put it in the grate, but I've only used it once. I've had it forever, finally used it, really liked it, but I just don't know if it's a grate yet, so I can't put it there, but this is a beautiful palette. All right, now we are moving on to the, like these are the best from February. So we have the Wild Wonder from Copacetic, and then we also have these art singles and a little palette that I put together. So I combine these in a look one day. You guys, Copacetic is an amazing indie brand. The shimmers are so good. The mattes are good too. I don't think as good as like the shimmers, multi-chromes, duochromes, but they're still really good. Like endless colors. She's really, really nice, the owner love this brand and love my looks every time I use Copacetic. All right, next we have, I should just grab, well, I'm going to come back. I do have more from Gourmand Girls that are in this category. These are in the greats that I loved from February. We have the Radioactive Palette. It is an all duo chrome shimmer palette and ethereal, same thing. So like these are called companion palettes, you know, since there's no mattes in here, you can do an all multi duo chrome shimmer look if you want, but I like to bring in other palettes. These are amazing. I think she's discontinuing ethereal soon, maybe even radioactive. So if you want to grab these, do it. I do have a code. I don't make money off of that one. And that code will be below. It's budget beauty is almost always my code. All right. Then we have the Adept Inspired Palette. Is there any surprise? Like this is, I'm starting to already kind of put together like my best palettes of the year in my head. You know, we're only in March, but I'm pretty sure this will be there at the end of the year. Love this palette. Freaking amazing. No matter what, no matter what's gone on with the brand and the mystery box and whatever does not take away that this is an incredible palette. Blend Bunny, the all done up palette. Oh my gosh. I love this palette and I love Blend Bunny. I've been using the heck out of Primal lately. I do have the Lure palette that I've been meaning to show you guys. Looks, I have not gotten to that yet. This is like one of my favorite neutral, but like grungy neutral palettes. It is so beautiful. Even the shimmers in here, I think are excellent. Like, I think this should be a staple in everyone's collection. Personally, I love this one. All right. Ooh, I'm glad it didn't break because this isn't available anymore. Let me just show it to you. Thank goodness it didn't break. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we have the Sailor Moore Gourmand Girls RIP. I loved this palette and she decided to discontinue it. She didn't keep it in stock anymore. That was just right after Valentine's Day. 
I love this palette. It has a special place in my heart. It's like a go-to for me for like date nights. I love it, but since it's not available, I can't really, I don't want to talk it up too much now. And then the Spooked palette, like I love this one so much. I used these whenever I brought in those other companion palettes and used the mattes, but this is one of my favorites that Gourmand's ever done. All right, then we have one of, definitely another one that's gonna be in my top of 2023. That is the Wicked Widow Beauty Edward Scissorhand 2 palette. This is so freaking good. Like, I just think, like every time I pull this out, I'm like, she, it was just so smart. Like, you can rearrange them. It has the little embossing of the shears in it, special shades, the mattes are amazing. Stunning, stunning, stunning palette. One of my favorites. It will definitely be in my top at the end of the year. All right, I finally got to try Give Me Glow and I get it, I get it. So this is the Nightlife palette. This is going to be a go-to summer palette for me. Like it is, I mean, the packaging, it says it all. Like it is like Miami, like summer nights, beautiful mattes. This yellow in here is like freaking like out of this world bright it is so beautiful and then we have this like peachy gold in here like i get it i want more give me glow so good beautiful palette and the last one that is in my favorites is the nomad cosmetics verona amore and Day palette love and death you guys saw me use this if you saw the video but this is such a fun palette like I still love the death side the most. I don't think that will ever change. I think it's perfect when I wanna do smoky, when I wanna do deep and dark, moody. Like, it kinda has some of those, I'm just now looking at this, like Chucky from Glamlight. Now I'm really glad I didn't get it because I think it's pretty much right here for me. So yeah, this is one of my favorites. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know. I've never really done the breaking it down in the categories. Let me know if any of these were like new to you. And as always, have fun shopping. Budget shopping. Bye.